Good morning, State Line. We saw some showers and storms overnight, but no rain expected in the forecast this afternoon. A terrific Thursday with some sunshine peeking through the clouds. And more rains in store, though, after the sunshine today. Falling temperatures, that's our second weather headline. We hit our high back at midnight of 70 degrees. If you remember yesterday, we were in the low in a few mid-80s. Ever since that cold front came through throughout the overnight hours, we've been falling. We're now into the low 50s throughout much of the area. But like I mentioned, some showers and thunderstorms back into the forecast tonight into your Friday and weekend. So take advantage of the sunny skies throughout the day today. As you can see here on the Mercy Health Sky came overlooking the Poplar Grove Airport. Beautiful sunrise to start off your Thursday with a mix of sun and clouds. Temperatures in the upper 40s and low 50s throughout much of the area and northerly wind at 14 miles an hour. That wind will continue to be breezy, especially throughout the first part of the day today with temperatures in the low 50s, mid 50s by the noon hour, upper 50s to near 60 by the late afternoon hour. Now these are the temperatures that we were at at midnight. These are our highs today, 79 in DeKalb, 70 in Rockford, 69 in Freeport and 70 in Savannah. Then the cold front came through that brought us those showers and storms, and we're looking at much cooler temperatures throughout the area right now. 63 in DeKalb, 49 in Rockford, 46 in Freeport, 44 in Monroe, low 40s, 42 in Galena. Compared to this time yesterday, 22 degrees colder in Galena, 17 degrees colder in Monroe and Freeport, and here in Rockford, 13 degrees colder. So definitely a noticeable difference. And the wind's still breezy as you're headed out the door this morning, with winds sustained 10 to 15 miles an hour throughout much of the area. Still gusts upwards of 20, even 25 miles an hour. Just a few passing clouds throughout the viewing area, otherwise partly cloudy skies. And that'll be the story throughout the afternoon hours, thanks to high pressure dominating our weather. Keep an eye on the last few frames here. Out to our west, you can see some mixed precipitation over portions of South Dakota and Nebraska. It is definitely a chilly air that's been dipped down into the region. So mainly clear skies are going to be the story today thanks to high pressure dominating our weather. But more rain expected in addition to all the rain that we've already seen this week. So flood advisories and flood warnings still out for the Rock River and a flood warning still out for the Pecatonic River. So do keep an eye on river levels as they are at action in minor flood stage throughout much of the area. And quite a bit more rain is expected Friday, Saturday, and into Sunday. Upwards of three and a half inches by the time it's all said and done on Sunday. But then more rain early next week is in store. We'll map it out here with Futurecast for you. A mix of sun and clouds throughout the day today as high pressure helps to keep us dry. But then more clouds move in late today and into the overnight hours. Scattered showers expected tonight with a few rumbles of thunder throughout the day on Friday. More rain and some strong, potentially stronger storms Friday night into your day on Saturday. And those scattered showers and storms will stick around into Sunday as well. Topping out this afternoon right around 60 degrees, but our high was set back at midnight of 70. Decreasing clouds, temperatures falling, wind gusts upwards of 20, even 25 miles an hour. 45 tonight, partly cloudy early, increasing clouds, showers and storms arrive late and stick around into the forecast tomorrow. 69 with showers and storms throughout the day, becoming more widespread throughout the afternoon hours. More rain Saturday and Sunday, temperatures right around average in the mid and upper 60s. Upper and mid 70s, though, return early next week with more rain in the forecast. So the temperatures are going to be seasonable this weekend, and I think we have a guest here to talk about the fall conditions. Yes, yeah. we do. Frank Fiorello 